Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Victoria. I sometimes go by Vicky. And today we are going to be doing a Halloween decor haul. And some of this is going to be from me going out on my own, which is mainly just Target. And then the other stuff that I got is going to be from places that I filmed at during my Halloween decor hunt vlog that I did. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already. The link for that will, of course, be in the description box below, so you can go check that out. Let's get into this. I think I'm going to try to do this kind of store by store. That'll be the easiest way. Let's start off with Michael's. You know, Michael's Craft Store, they usually come out with cute Halloween stuff every year. I stopped in there because it had like really cute vintage -y stuff going on. I got this big vintage cat thing. His head is completely open. I think that is so that you could put candy in him maybe for Halloween. I think I'm gonna keep it in the house just to make sure that the weather doesn't mess it up at all. But I also might put like a little plant in it. Maybe find like some succulents or something like that. Yeah, I just think it's adorable. I love this vintage Halloween stuff so much. It's so creepy cute to me. I am obsessed with him. The next thing I got is this little pumpkin I don't even know what you call it, like a little jar situation. I really enjoy it too because it has like the rubber suction on it so you can use it for like actual real food without it going stale or maybe like any chance of like bugs getting into it, anything like that. I do want to keep it for like the kitchen. The next and last thing that I got from Michael so far is also a pretty big sign. It says trick or treat, welcome scaredy cats. I thought this was super cute. It is heavy too like it's a like good quality it's not like cheap gonna fall apart like my arm hurts from just holding it that long it's got like something you can hang it with or it also has a little if you want to just prop it up against something I'm more than likely gonna hang it up somewhere I do have it like in my window at my place right now I love stuff like this the majority of the stuff is gonna be like an all year round type thing for me because that is my feel. That's like kind of what I go for. One of the next stores I got stuff from is from Spirit Halloween. I only got a few small things from them because the store, they had a bunch of stuff saying more stuff coming soon. So I wanted to go back there probably at the end of September or the beginning of October. The first thing that I got is this right here. It is a nightmare on Elm Street. So it is two iron-on patches and then two pens, which I freaking love. Freddy Krueger is my favorite slasher out of all of them. I've loved him for a long time. I have it put away, but I do have like a signed painting from Robert England. He didn't paint it, but he signed a painting and everything. So he's definitely my favorite out of all. So you've got your little, sorry, there's such a glare. Let me take this out so you can see it so much better now. So this right here that says never sleep again with like blood going through it from his hand. This one is a patch. This Elm Street one up here is also a patch. And then of course these two smaller ones are gonna be your pens. You've got his signature finger knives. And then there's this little black and red pen. It is a silhouette type deal of Freddy with his hand in the background and it says welcome to my nightmare. I've got a jean jacket that I've got patches set aside that I want to iron on but I don't have an iron right now and then I've got a leather jacket that I have pins all over so I'm super excited to have all of these to be able to put them on my jacket. This makes me so happy. The next thing that I got is a pair of earrings. So these right here are little butcher's knives with blood dangling off of them. I think they are so freaking adorable. And then I only got two more things. Like I said, I didn't get a lot. And every year they always have a bunch of shot glasses put out and they range from like 99 cents to like 2.99, something like that. Might even be only 1.99. And I get at least two every year because they just come out with cute ones like I've got one that says like witch's brew, one that says zombie by antidote, one that's a Ouija board. The two that I got this year were a nightmare on Elm Street. It is a sh the same stripes, the color of Freddy's sweater. And it also has Freddy himself on it, of course. There's a freaking piece of cat hair on my face. Next one I got was a Friday the 13th. So it says it in like the original Friday the 13th font right here. The other side, it has Jason's mask. And I'm pretty sure both of those were a dollar. I think they're both a dollar flat or 99 cents. And that's all the little stuff that I got at Spirit for now. So I'm gonna mention one other thing, not from any of these stores that I bought that I got a few nights ago because it's super Super cute. It's another pin. 
and I got it at Team Member Preview of Halloween Horror Nights because I am a manager at a tattoo shop but our tattoo shop is in Universal City Walk so I'm technically a Universal employee so I did get to go to that before like regular customers get to go and everything. This is from the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space. You can see his name right there. He's shorty. He's got like a little tiny gun in his hand. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space but it is from either like the late 70s or early 80s and it's super cheesy and like corny and it's amazing it's so great it's literally clowns come from outer space to like take over the world and they have like cotton candy guns that like turn you into cotton candy it's, it's freaking great this is one of the themes at halloween horror nights this year i'm so excited to have this little shorty pen i think it's the cutest thing ever and i also got one thing from the store at home I don't know how familiar you guys are with that. It is a really cute store. They sell seasonal stuff all year round. I've only gotten one thing from there so far. It is already set up on my wall, so I'm going to show you that now. So right here you can see is the only thing that I've gotten from at home so far. You can see me all creepy looking. It is just this really cute skull mirror. I would say it's maybe about two feet tall or so. I think it's adorable and it will of course stay up all year round just like it is right now. Uh, I love it. I think it's just a cute accent to the wall. So that's going to be the only thing I got from at home. Just like Michael's and Spirit, I will be going back there to get some more stuff though. The next and last store that I went to is Target and they still didn't have anything like that out but the one thing that they did have was the Halloween stuff out in Bullseye's Playground which is like that little a uh, dollar area section whenever you first walk in and I'm a sucker for that stuff in general make it Halloween stuff and I am there this is where I got majority of the stuff and I also did get some other stuff that wasn't Halloween but super cute so I want to show you guys anyways I will first start off with candles I did get four candles I've lit two of them um, one is lit right now and then there was also this one I'm not the brightest sometimes and I knew I wanted to film a haul obviously and then I accidentally threw a part of this away and I was like, well, fuck, that doesn't even make sense, but oh well. So we got this candle right here and it's just got like this kind of plaid design to it. On top of it came this little plastic lid type deal, but it was a coffee lid. So it looked like a little like Starbucks string or just like, you know, a coffee that you would get from anywhere, like a to-go coffee. And it was so cute, which is one of the reasons I bought it. I also bought it because the scent is Orchard Air. I really like the smell of like fresh apples. And I like to have something maybe like this burning while I'm like cleaning and stuff to help put me in a good mood. So I thought it was super cute. This was $3.00. I will say that it doesn't have like the strongest scent, but it's not like Bath and Body Works. You know, you're paying $3 for a candle. It kind of comes with the territory. The next two candles I got are these right here. They are coffin shaped, obviously, and freaking adorable. These were also both $3. This gray one right here is the scent Graveyard Spirits, and it is warm spicy like vanilla pumpkin-y smell like your standard fall smell like pumpkin pie type deal that doesn't remind me of graveyard spirits at all but that's okay i don't think i'd want to smell actual graveyard spirits and this next one the black one this one is funeral flowers and it smells so freaking good it smells like flowers obviously but really creamy smelling flowers i don't know if that makes sense very like smooth it's not like sharp like it's probably like rose and maybe like magnolia or like gardenia scented it smells so good though i will find a way to reuse them afterwards the last candle i got is this one right here it is a little pumpkin obviously it is also lit right now and i, I would assume that these all pro probably have more of a faint scent to them when they're lit just because like i said they're cheaper that's okay but this one is more like a cinnamony fall scent it's kind of similar to the gray one but i also just really wanted this pumpkin because when it's done i will clean it out and probably put like little tiny things in it for makeup like little tiny eyeliners or lip liners or something like that so that is all of the candles oh so the next thing i got i got two of them they are exactly the same it is these very cute string lights it is little pumpkins or jack-o-lanterns you will see i also have 
some hanging up here because why not they do light up and it says right here very big capital letters requires two double a alkaline batteries parentheses not included like it says that really large i didn't see that so i don't have any double a batteries so i'm gonna have to go get some um i bought two because i wanted it says it's only three and a half feet i wasn't too sure how big that was and i kind of want to like i really wanted them up for like my background and stuff here because i think they're adorable and i thought maybe i might need more to make it fit in frame but i don't thank goodness so i will be keeping these honestly they were three dollars and i'm gonna see where else i want to put them up like maybe i'll put them up in like by a doorway or like above my bed even though i already have some halloween stuff up for above my bed and that's from last year from the halloween target section as well but yeah I think these are adorable and like three dollars is a freaking steal okay so the next thing i also used and it's also stained unfortunately but whatever like it is what it is huh so they had the most adorable plates in this section and i'll show you the first one that isn't all fucked up it is this right here you can obviously see it's like a little frankenstein it says creep it real these are probably meant for children but i thought they were freaking adorable they are BPA free, they are microwave safe, but they are not dishwasher safe, they're hand wash only, which is fine. And the next one I got is my favorite one out of the two, and it is the stained one, like it got pretty messed up, and which is like disappointing. It got messed up from the food that we put on it while it went in the microwave, and obviously like that's not supposed to happen, so I'm very sad. And I might throw this away and go buy some others. So it is this little lavender ghost, and it says boo, and I think it's adorable. I also got socks. The first pair I got are these white and fluorescent green spider webs, obviously. Super cute. Again, these aren't like the crazy best material because they're dollar socks, but I don't care. The next ones I got are lime green and black. It has a skull, Frankenstein, a kitty cat, a bat, and then there's like this little witch design here. And it's actually the same ghost in Frankenstein's monster from the plates. The other two pair of socks I have worn already, so they don't have tags on them and I'll put together all nicely are these pumpkin socks right here just you know black and orange little pumpkin socks and the last pair that i got and probably my favorite because i think they're just adorable and kind of plain even are these socks right here so they're black and orange striped with like these lime green like toenails look like little monster feet slash legs and i think those are the cutest ever I can't wait to wear those a whole bunch. I'll probably buy another pair whenever I go back if they have more. So not too much more to go. They have these snacks out by the dollar stuff. So I noticed them, of course. And they're kind of like trail mixes type things. So this first one right here looks like this. And it is candy corn crunch trail mix. It has honey roasted peanuts, candy corn, raisins and white chocolate pretzel balls this is good but a little too sweet for me i do love candy corn though and whatever you can hate on candy corn all you want that's more candy corn for me on the market so that is fine the next one that i got is the rustic pumpkin spice trail mix and it is pumpkin spice peanuts cinnamon flavored pretzel balls yogurt covered raisins and pumpkin seed kernels that's what it looks like right here now this one isn't as sweet, but cinnamon flavored pretzel balls, I believe, are like white chocolate as well, and they're still a little bit too much for me. Otherwise, I really like everything else in it. I also got this super cool Halloween shirt a few years ago. It was in like the men's section, but I freaking love it. It's huge on me. I like to wear it as like a big t-shirt dress, but it also glows in the dark, which I think is like... The best thing ever that is going to wrap it up maybe you guys will go out and buy some spooky or fall related things from some of these stores let me know if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos that are like fall related i enjoy doing it i like just sitting down and talking with you guys it feels nice and personal please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already become a member of my little ghoulish family i'd love to have you here i'd love to talk to you guys like i said that halloween decor vlog will be below as well as my social media so we can be friends in other places besides just here and I will see you guys next time. Bye!